The bold and the beautiful latest update. Wyatt Spencer tried to get Liam to stop whining and start working. Hope revels in the feel of Thomas' hands on her skin, and Steffi confides in Finn. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Wyatt Spencer tried to get Liam to stop whining and start working. Bold and the beautiful recap for Monday, May 15, 2023. Different day, same issues. On today's The Bold and the Beautiful episode, Wyatt Spencer begrudgingly forwent discussing business in order to listen to his brother bemoan recent events and traverse familiar territory. Bold and the beautiful recap highlights. In addition, Hope, Annika Noel, got all hot and bothered under Thomas's, Matthew Atkinson, Touch, and Steffi, Jacqueline McKinswood, besmirched Hope. Now, let's dig a little deeper into what exactly happened. Wyatt Spencer would love a change of tune. In San Francisco, Hope and Thomas's cuddle was interrupted by the trilling of the former cell phone. Good news, everyone, except for those of you who prefer your soap operas to have a bit of drama. The mechanical errors have been attended to, and they can get up in the air as soon as Hope and Thomas get settled in. Hope called Liam, Scott Clifton, with the update filling him with some hope, pun intended, and no doubt greatly reliving Steffi, who'd been forced yet again to tend to Liam's ego and assure him that he had nothing to worry about where her brother and his wife were concerned, yes, the same exact convo that has been taking place since the beginning of the month. Once Steffi had taken her leave, Liam attempted to strategize with Wyatt, but his mind was elsewhere, a fact that Wyatt didn't appreciate one little bit. After threatening to force-feed his brother some red meat if he didn't spill, Wyatt sweetened the pot by offering to provide Liam with the sage brotherly advice that he just knows Liam is ready and willing to receive, and maybe then they can get back to discussing their $80 million investment. Is it about Hope and Thomas, again, wondered Wyatt. It was, was it about Hope and Thomas spending late nights working on Hope for the future, again, nope, they're not even in town. Thomas and my wife are in San Francisco together. Right? Now, Wyatt granted Liam that this was a nightmare come to life. Hope trapped in the same city with a man who'd been obsessing over her for years and years. Liam relayed Steffi's unwavering belief in Thomas and his rehabilitation and how her protestations make him feel even more alone. Oh, poor him, bold and the beautiful recap, helping hands. On the Forrester jet and somewhere between the Golden Gate City and Los Angeles, Hope complained of a crick in her neck, and Thomas took it upon himself to massage the discomfort away. Hope approved, very much so. A little too much. But before she could really enjoy Thomas's hands on her body, the captain announced that they were soon to arrive at their destination. Bold and the beautiful recap, blame game. Meanwhile, Steffi returned home to Finn, Tanner Novlin, popped open a glass of red, puckered up, and set about complaining about Liam's complaining about Hope and Thomas and how Liam had proffered that if Hope ever crossed the line with Thomas, he'd never be able to forgive her. What's more, as far as Steffi's concerned, it's not Thomas, Liam, should be concerned about, it's Hope, and maybe she has a valid concern. Hope revels in the feel of Thomas' hands on her skin and Steffi confides in Finn. Today on the bold and the beautiful, Hope and Thomas have several close encounters, Liam feels alone, and Steffi tells Finn about Hope. At Spencer Publications, Liam asks Steffi if they should check with the Forrester pilot for another update. Steffi reminds him they didn't check that long ago, and the pilot told her that it didn't look as thought they'd get back tonight. Liam mutters about Thomas not behaving himself and the temptation of being alone with Hope. There's a lot of things he can forgive, but not that. Never that? Lion whines that he should have seen this coming when Hope brought Thomas back to work on her line. There will always be business trips. It's naive to think that Thomas wouldn't want to tag along every chance he gets. Steffi reminds him the buyers wanted to see Thomas. That's not accurate. Liam keeps ranting and Steffi informs him that Thomas isn't going to be an issue when it comes to Hope. Liam asks, so I have nothing to worry about, nothing at all. Steffi flashes to grilling Hope about having feelings for Thomas and size. In the hotel room in San Francisco, Thomas assures Hope that she's nothing like her mother and that nothing will come between her and Liam. She thanks him and they embrace. 
As they pull out of the hug, they're face to face and look at each other's lips. Suddenly, Hope's phone rings, and it's the Forester pilot with good news. The jet is set to go. She thanks him and says they'll be there soon. Hope disconnects and she and Thomas stare at each other. At Spencer, Steffi doesn't know what else to say to convince Liam he doesn't have to worry about her brother. Liam tells her that her mother had plenty to say. Steffi understands why he feels the way he does. Liam exclaims that everyone seems to think he should get over himself. Steffi doesn't believe Thomas won't initiate anything. Liam won't let anything come between his marriage, especially him. In San Francisco, Thomas suggests Hope call Liam, who will undoubtedly be relieved to hear she's coming home tonight. Hope does so. Liam tells her she's been gone less than a day and it feels like so much longer than that. Hope looks at Thomas, then turns away and tells Liam that she can't wait to be in his arms again. At Spencer, Liam disconnects from Hope and fills Steffi in. She says Thomas isn't the one he should be concerned about. He has his head on straight. Liam really wants to believe that. In San Francisco, Thomas tells Hope he's called and cancelled the other room. She's glad they can go home tonight. He says, Hope to your husband and family. They hold each other's gaze. Steffi arrives at home to find Finn has put the kids down and whipped up dinner. He greets her with wine and they sit down. Talk turns to Hope and Thomas trip to San Francisco. Steffi relays that Liam wasn't pleased, and he was even less happy when he learned that they wouldn't make it back tonight. Finn knows that he doesn't trust her brother. Steffi updates that Hope and Thomas are on their way back, the plane was fixed. Finn thinks, no harm no foul. Liam can relax. Steffi says there's more, concerning Hope. At Spencer, Wyatt talks numbers to Liam, who is totally distracted. He hollers, Liam, I could use your feedback here. Liam's not with it and has the wrong document. Wyatt threatens to hold him down and force feed him red meat if he can't keep up. He finally asks, what has you distracted right now? Is it Hope and Thomas again? This is getting really old. Liam says they're in San Francisco together right now. On the Forrester jet, the pilot apologizes for the delay. Hope and Thomas assure him it's fine, these things happen. Once alone, Thomas congratulates his boss on a successful trip. Hope says there's no denying what they said. We make a pretty impressive team. Their eyes lock. At Spencer, Wyatt tells Liam that Hope will be back tonight. He knows it was his worst nightmare for her to be stuck in another city with the guy who obsessed over her. Liam says that at least he didn't try anything. Hope would have told him if he had. He relays that Steffi would beg to differ. She has a good red on her brother, so when she says he's a changed man, Wyatt interjects, you believe her? Liam replies, I was going to say that I feel even more alone. At the cliff house, Finn can see his wife is still distracted and urges her to lay it on me. Steffi relays that Liam said if Hope ever crossed the line with Thomas, he wouldn't be able to forgive her. Finn says Thomas isn't going to get fixated on her again. So all of this is moot. Steffi swigs her wine. What I didn't say to Liam is that it's not Thomas he should be concerned about, it's Hope. On the Forrester jet, Hope's neck has seized up and Thomas slides over to try and work out the knot. Hope closes her eyes as Thomas' hands rub her shoulders. The pilot comes on the loudspeaker and tells them to prepare for landing. Thomas says they'll be home soon. Hope turns and looks into his eyes. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.